Morning guys, well I've had a busy morning, um, been making something I thought I'd have a play. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard of an LM358, um, which is a 8 pin uh, ammo. So digging them out here. LM386 apologies, Three, LM386. It's an amplifier which you can use for electric microphones. Electric microphone, what is it? Um, audio files may go bonkers, but it's a variable resistor that does some capacitancy type stuff. Um, that's an electric microphone. Simple little thing, you've seen it, you've probably all seen it before, known as uh, condenser mic, something like that. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's cool. So, what I've been doing, I've been looking at using some programmable LEDs. Either that kind, addressable rather than programmable, will be the correct term, I guess. WS2812s. There's a bunch there. I uh, don't know how much you can see of that. I'll quickly open this pack and you can have a look at them. There. And as you can see on the back, these are 5 volt. Oh, go and focus. Is it going to focus or is it just going to stay blurred? Probably going to stay blurred, but basically, it's five volts. So you've got five volts, and you can see the arrow in your ground, and that's your data in, data out, and you daisy chain them. You can daisy chain as many as you want. Just remember, when you daisy chain them, you can daisy chain loads, but you've still got supply current, so it can get a little bit um, out of hand when you start going after them. But they're good fun, and we'll I'll be playing with them sh shortly. So what am I doing? Yeah. Um, electric, uh, electric microphone and um, driving it. Well, what I did first is I, because I'm going to use an Arduino, I thought, well, let's start with the Arduino for powering it. This here um, goes into this, just a double for the microphone, uh, the speaker rather, on my laptop. Because uh, what I'm doing is I'm playing royalty free music from my laptop. Um, just, I don't know, so I don't get stiffed by YouTube for breaking li license and that kind of stuff. I mean, I guess people need to make the money so I can't complain too much, so therefore I won't. Anyway, the circuit. Uh, put my notepad down. Here's my notepad. So, um, probably not an ideal circuit diagram, but it gets the, uh, it gets the job done. So obviously we've got our microphone here, which what I'm doing is I'm pulling input from my uh, laptop. Uh, broken out there into... Oh, disconnect this. As I said, it's being powered by uh, the Arduino. Also, I'm using... There you go. So, got the ground uh, and the stereo inputs. It just makes it easy. I know exactly what's going in there because I can double up and listen to it on uh, external speakers to make sure that I'm getting what I'm expecting. And this is, uh, there's one capacitor missing off there, that's this one here. Uh, 100 um, microfarads going across just smoothing. Makes quite a difference actually, it makes a significant difference. So try not to forget that. It could probably worth putting another one on there as well, but then, yeah, maybe yeah. all good fun. Right, so let's you want to see what it sounds like, don't you? So we'll get this banged into the 5 volts. Yeah, so oh, don't buy cheap shit. Like everything is here, basically. So that's 5 volts positive and our ground. So we'll fire it up. And what we've got... <laughs> speak out of a printer. And it just goes in, so we've got the negative and from pin 5, pin 1 top left as top left there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which is why rather than doing um, a logical diagram, I actually drew a semi-physical diagram on there, so you can see exactly what needed connecting into it. Just, I don't know, I find that a little bit easier to do, it takes it's an extra two minutes. But anyway, enough of the shite, let's... Uh, Play some music. So this is free music from um, YouTube.
it does get nasty very quick. Well, basically what this means is I know I've got a signal coming in and I'll be able to read that signal with my Arduino. And then from that, I'll be able to um, visualize that through the WS2812s. Uh, that is really crap music. I don't know if you can hear that, so. But the difference. Just by enclosing the speaker, people often wonder, you know, what the difference is. It goes from um, nasty tinny to relatively decent. And that's just by putting the uh, egg case in the speaker. There's probably some of you'll know all the reasons behind it, but yeah, I think that's quite interesting. Speak. Tinny. Um, ideally, I understand that you better off with an actually totally sealed box. So I might see if I can find some there. I don't know whether the material of the box uh, matters. I would imagine it needs to be something with oh, little resonance. Resonance, that is, not resonance. Um, otherwise that's going to vibrate and make all sorts of strange noises so it'll be interesting I might actually try I've just seen a tube up here Ooh. so I've got this tube oh what the hell's that keep out of reach of children iron oxide ah okay if I need an iron oxide I've got a bit there so that could possibly sit there I might do that and yeah I'm going to quickly do that come back and see what happens so knock a hole in that lid yeah welcome back so five minutes later um, attack with a knife attack with hot snot hold through the side I've hot snotted that up as well just so that we've got a sealed tube let's see what happens uh, it's actually got me totally sidetracked which is normal and I've got oh, how do you stop that so when you've used hot snot, you get like spiderwebs everywhere. Shit. Okay, never mind. Right, okay. Where am I? Are we playing music at the moment? Well, no, we're not playing music, so... Positive in. Negative in. Yep, we have contact. Right. <laughs> this could be really, really, really pleased if this sounds okay. Good grief. That actually sounds well. Okay, so it's a cheap ass tinny shit speaker. But I tell you what, that's surprising. Yeah, to be expected, it's got to break up. But let's see if we find some better music. That's just garbage. That's supposed to be rock. So what do we do? Pop. Bit more rock. Let's go rock again. What type of thing? Angry, bright, calm, dramatic, funky. Inspirational. Until we meet again by Joe Bagale. Bagale. Never heard this before, so it could be interesting. Might be utter garbage. This is fantastic. Oh. Right, okay, that's not quite what I was looking for. Um, Silent Partner, this is called a track called Bittersweet. Hey guys. So, uh, sorry about the wash up, that little move around so that you can see what's happening and uh, listen to the noise that my laptop makes. Incredible, isn't it? Um, why have I moved it around? Because what I've done, uh, I've got to put the sketch in, in below. So, down below we'll have the sketch. What's all this mess down here that is sort of in shot? So, I've got the LED strip here 
WS2812s. These are 12 volts, so I've actually got a separate 12 volt supply powering them. Uh, down here, the uh, negative is connected into the main negative rail. We've still got my amazing speaker set, uh, plugged in, ready to go, ready to rock and roll. Um, the only change really is we've got a wire here going to D2 on the Arduino, which then goes to center pin on this particular rail, uh, which is the data in. Um, I've put another uh, connection from the pin 5 on the uh, amp chip which goes straight into A0 on the Arduino Uno back here. Um, next, I guess, let's uh, play some music. Uh, yeah, so as I say, this is the free audio library. Um, I've selected attribution not required, so I don't need to tell you who's playing it, but hey, Sunday Plans by Silent Partner. Switch off the background lighting. And yeah, sorry about as I said, I'm sorry about the background, guys. The, uh, that's as far as I can zoom out, and as you can see, it works nice. Now uh, these LEDs are pinning us. They're actually in segments of three, so there's ten segments of three. It is sensitive to the volume, so we can turn that down. And yeah, it's, all, it's, it's quite cool. What I do have back here, which I'm going to plug in next, is this thing. Which is a strip of about 50 LEDs that does pretty much the same thing but it's wrapped around a black tube. Looks quite cool, so uh, yeah, that's next. Hey guys, back again. Yeah, so I've managed to find something that blacks that window a little bit. Uh, let's see what happens. You can't quite get the full effect. Yep, we've got some nice cheesy music on there. But every now and again, oh, oh there we go. Yeah, just loosen this off. What you'll see is after the music's peaked, it'll just you see the you see it, the uh, the peak roll down. And again, adjusting the volume. Does work. But it's quite a good effect. Uh, put that inside of a lamp, which I shall show you now. So, the IKEA Homo lamp. That's what that's going to go inside. This is going to get breadboarded up. Uh, sorry, Brett, well, I'm going to put it onto a circuit board. I'm going to go inside a homo lamp, which is probably about a metre high, somewhere on there. Uh, it'll be really nice, and what it'll do is it'll diffuse the LEDs, and so you won't get to see the individual LEDs, you should just get to see the nice, the, the end effect, which I'm sure when you see it, you will agree.